We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, The Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Del Nelson. Today's reading, August 5, Showdown in the Desert, Part 2. Jesus answered, It is written, People do not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. It is written, it is written, it is written. Three times that was his only weapon under demonic attack. But what will be our defense today? In all candor I tremble for this generation of the chosen that now must traverse the same desert and face this same antagonist. For we have raised a generation that no longer turns to the written page, but rather to the electronic screen. To be sure, technology is not our enemy. But when the screens of our laptops and PDAs and office computers and TVs and movie theaters are the only place we will pause long enough to read, it is no wonder that the dusty onion skin pages of a Bible can hardly compete. The devil was defeated in that desert showdown by an unshakable, it is written. He has spent the rest of history making certain he would not repeat the same mistake and be bested in the same way. And so he has methodically gone about obliterating the it is written, from our lives and from our world. We live today in a world with more Bibles per capita than at any time in history, but a world that may go down in the mo as the most biblically illiterate generation of modern times, one that believes Joan of Arc was Noah's wife. Seriously, outside of required reading, who seriously reads much of anything anymore? John Grissom, Stephen King, and Dan Brown thrillers don't count. Nor do the tabloids or sports extras. Outside of professionally necessitated or academically mandated reading, who reads anymore? It is written. Oh, really? Where? Jesus' showdown reply to Satan was a direct quotation from Deuteronomy 8.3. In fact, for all three temptations, he cal his calculated response was to quote from Deuteronomy. No pocket Bible, no PDA or laptop with the scriptures. He simply quoted them by memory. So, how did he learn? The child Jesus did not receive instruction in the synagogue schools. His mother was his first human teacher. His intimate acquaintance with the scriptures shows how diligently his early years were given to the study of God's word. Desire of Ages, page 70. Memorizing scripture, you can't be too young. You can't be too old. And from the simple steps We'll learn tomorrow, turning it is written into it is memorized, doesn't have to be too difficult either. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the chosen.